Hey, this is Brian coming to you live from Milwaukee for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Geared up for a Tony Hits Clip. Milwaukee, you ready to do this shit? How you guys doing out there? Are you guys ready for this? We're live. Does it sound good out there? Seem like it could be a little bit louder? Yeah, that's what I think too. I had a fucking feeling. Here we are. We're live. Brian Redband's here, everybody. Hey guys, what's up? Look at this. For the first ever Kill Tony, Milwaukee. We are live. We are in the middle of it. This is very exciting. Had fun uh, last night, believe it or not, in Appleton, Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, it, was a, it was a blast. We had a nice, smooth drive down here today. And it goes on and on. Uh, tomorrow night, we're in Chicago at Thalia Hall, then Madison, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, and uh, back at the Comedy Store Monday, then Poughkeepsie, New York on the 19th, and they added that second show, New York, New York, on that Thursday, June 20th at Gramercy Theater. That's a big deal for us. And uh, the big announcement this week is Philly, the Fillmore, July 25th. Tickets go on sale for that tomorrow at 10 a.m. on Live Nation. Use the promo code Groove, and uh, you can get tickets at Live Nation. Or you have to wait the next day for uh, general public sale, like a peasant. peasant so why, why not just get them Thursday at 10 a.m.? So it's good to be here, Milwaukee. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been here. It's good to be here. First ever Kill Tony in Milwaukee at the beautiful Turner Hall ballroom it looks like a good turnout too we it were a little did. worried i, th I think there was a little bit of a late push huh i had to start talking shit a little bit i don't know if you guys listen to any of the most recent episodes because you guys uh really wait to the last minute here uh yeah. really sweating it out however of course since it's fucking milwaukee uh new kids on the block sold yeah. out an arena across the street just to yeah. let you know where you stand on where the fuck you live yeah Beautiful Milwaukee, which I believe is Indian for 1991. Uh, not, they have Naughty by Nature opening up for them. <laughs> this is really exciting stuff happening in Milwaukee. Sold out an arena. We had to sweat bullets to fill a ballroom. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> new kids on the mother... It's the same kids, by the way. Yeah. It's not even a new, new it's kids. The it's the same songs. <laughs> it's the old new kids on the fucking block. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Anyway, so we're here. There's the past across the street in an arena in the future podcasting here in a uh, what appears to be where people celebrate their grandparents' funerals or something <laughs> like that, some type of very church-like uh, ballroom. It's pretty badass. Hell yeah, I'm excited to be here. We're definitely going to have fun tonight. As always, of course, uh, we go guest list on these shows on the road. Uh, and, uh, of course, Ryan J. E. Belt, the house artist, could not make it here tonight. However, he did draw amazing Kill Tony uh, road tour posters that we're going to be selling right over in that lit up poster looking section over there after the show. We have uh, pins for sale, the brand spanking new Kill Tony pin, the new Death Squad pin, both of them glow in the dark, both of them are made by our friends over at Rockin' Pins. So uh, we'll be doing that after the show. So that's cool, official Ryan J.E. ball print. So he's here with us in spirit. Um, you know, we don't have a guest tonight. However, it just so turns out, Milwaukee, that we do have a band on this show. Uh, you know, due to travel restraints and budgeting, we couldn't bring the entire band yeah, with it's, us. It's uh, small stage also. So, yeah, very tiny stage. So you guys are just going to have to uh, deal with what you got. Every single episode, the band commits to staying in character. Sometimes it's a brand new character that we've never seen before. Sometimes it's the return of one of their famous characters. Uh, I never know what they're going to be. They had a separate dressing room as always tonight. So uh, let's see what happens tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Kill Tony Band, the best damn band in the land, Jeremiah Watkins and Jolberg Joel Jimenez. Oh, hey, hey. Look at these fishermen! Hell yeah! Wow, how cool is this? Oh my god! <laughs> wow, you guys look fucking great! 
Wow, look at this. Clearly a uh, fisherman. I believe this is a brand new character. Uh, we love, right? Have you guys been on this show before? Nay. Wow, <laughs> well, welcome, fisherman. This is the debut of a new character in Milwaukee. You feel good about this? It's fucking exciting. What, uh, what is your name, uh, fine gentleman? My name is Sherman. And I've been hunting the Loch Ness Monster since I was a wee lad. Oh, looking for the Loch Ness. Heck yeah. How's that been going for you? Not very good. <laughs> and then uh, back here, clearly we have, uh, <laughs> I mean, is this Pablo Picasso? What is this exactly? What's your name? My name is Gordon. <laughs> You're Gordon? Are, are you the Gordon's fisherman? Or? Aye. <laughs> oh, wow. That's very exciting, Gordon. Well, uh, welcome. I can see your, uh, through your pants, your little frozen fish stick right there. Look at that. Fish stick. A little fisherman action tonight. This is very exciting. Uh, you, was it easy for you guys to get here to Milwaukee? Yeah, we just sailed on the seven seas. <laughs> I didn't know Milwaukee was on any of the yeah. seven seas. We sailed seas. every lake to get here. <laughs> I love it. Well, rock and fucking roll. I'm excited about this. This is uh, uh, the uh, the band leader looks like the uh, like uh, that like the snow shoveler guy from the Home Alone movies. Remember him? <laughs> the uh, he, we, they thought you thought he was the bad guy throughout the whole fucking episode, and at the end he saves the day. Yeah, puts Macaulay up on a hook. Um, all right, I'm excited about this. We're, the fishermen are here. Red bands here, which brings me to this bad motherfucker right here. The one and the only, Kill Tony, Summer Tour 2019, Bucket of Destiny. Uh, it's filled with names. Great turnout on names tonight. Great venue. Everything feels good. Uh, if I pull your name out of the bucket, you know how it goes. For those of you that had the courage to sign up, uh, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted on this stage. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry Walker's Point Bear. <laughs> Wow. Powerful. Is that the right reference, Walker's Point? Huh? Uh, all right, good. We'll see how this goes. Uh, and then we talk to you for a bit. Just a reminder, the stairway's there. It's the only way to get on the stage. And if you didn't sign up, or even if you did sign up, don't heckle anybody during their 60 seconds. Let them build that own tension and figure out a way to fucking break it. All right? Uh, afterwards, you could yell fuck you as loud as you want. But... Uh, not during their set. We could say that was the new kids on the block, Bear. You, we could have done that also. That's true. Mm -hmm. That is fucking true. All right. We got the buck. We got everybody. You guys ready to do this shit? It's Kill Tony live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. For the very first time ever. Ever. So, you know, walk safely. Maybe when I pull the name, maybe we could get those like bulb, that bulb strand to light up when I pull a name until they make it to the stage. If anyone on lights is listening, is that over there? Oh, got me. How about a hand for uh, the amazing staff here? Uh, they've been great. Turner Hall. Love these guys. Eric, the whole crew. Pulled a name out of the bucket. Make some noise for your first comedian. He goes by the name of Patrick Brandt, everyone. Here we go. Ah, that's so cool. It's beautiful. Cool lighting here at Turner Hall for those of you listening to oh, the here podcast. He here he comes. He's shaking his head no. He seems a little bit dizzy. He's excited about this. Make some fucking noise for your first comedian of the night, Patrick Brandt. Well, uh, definitely was not expecting this, but it's great to be here. Uh, I've got absolutely nothing prepared. I really came just to watch other people bomb and enjoy myself, but it looks like I'm the first one to get to... Bomb myself and get absolutely destroyed by these guys. Um, yeah, I've got nothing. <laughs> you, can, you can do the cat. What the fuck are you talking about? You better say something. You talk into that fucking microphone. I've got nothing. You better just talk about something, dude. You better figure out something to fucking say right <laughs> now. Oh, this is going to be good. So, uh, walking in here today... Uh, past the beautiful stream of white women walking over to the new kids on the block. He had a clear definition of the people going to that and the clear definition of the people going here. So I followed my crowd and ended up in the Pfizer Forum. And then somehow made it on stage. 
All right, there you go, Patrick Brandt. I mean, absolutely horrible. What did you think was going to happen? Did you sign your name up on a piece of paper, Patrick? Patrick, listen to me over here. Did you sign your name no, up? Oh, yeah, that was 100% me. Right, and then so what? why? Why would you do that? What the? Are you a fan of the show? Oh, I love the show. You listen to a lot of episodes of this fucking show. Yeah. So explain to me what the fuck happened in your fucking thick shit skull when you walked by the sign-up sheet and you're like, I'll fucking sign up. What were you thinking? Tell me what you thought might happen. Oh, uh, dumb luck that I was not going to end up here. But why, but why sign up? The point, no, the best luck for you not getting up here is not fucking signing up. I'm trying to figure out how you people even think. I don't even understand what goes on in someone's brain. Like, well, I, might, uh, I won't get pulled. I'll just say that I signed up and didn't get pulled. The fuck is going on in your head, Patrick? Not much. Do you think that's a way that I wanted to get this show fucking kickstarted? No. There's probably 60 goddamn people out there that have waited for this show to come here, that have prepared, that have done open mics, and you come up here and you do this. So let's talk about it, Patrick. Uh, what do you do for uh, what do you do uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a nurse at Children's Hospital. You're a nurse. Well, you know what? I hope some of your fucking patients die tonight. All right. I, I hope your I hope your work goes bad tonight. I hope some of those children fucking croak. I hope he catches cancer. Wow. All right. Damn, Simon goes right for the jugular. I like you, Sherman. You're you're a lot meaner than you look. I use men like you for bait. <laughs> My God, Patrick, tell us something uh, good about you. To give us, give us a redeeming quality. Give us something to like about you. Or are you just going to suck through the interview part, too? He hey, wears New Balance oh shoes. Right. He's going to suck. So I don't understand. Uh, l l let, me, let me ask you this. Like, so... When you do something like this, right? Yep. Do you do a lot of things like this? Do you make a lot of fucking mistakes all through life? He looks like a new kid on the cock. <laughs> no, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. First time. No, Probably this is the last return. time. I'm going to make yeah. you kill yourself on this stage right now. How many of you want that to happen? How, much, how many of you want Patrick to kill himself? Eric, do you have a rope or something like that? Perhaps we could lower from the... All right. Patrick, I mean, I just don't know how to even work around something like this. You're a goddamn anomaly. Is there anything in the world interesting about you? Come My dad on. used to do stand-up, and I completely just embarrassed him. So yeah. Really? Is he here? No, thank God. F well, no, not thank God. That would have been fucking awesome had oh, your no, dad he come up here and embarrassed it. you and lit you up. Oh, I'm, in the history it. of the show, we've never had a dad come up and literally spank his son after fucking bombing. <laughs> We've also never had somebody sign up that really had zero. We've had people try and sign up like, hey, I've never done this before, but you literally did nothing See, at all. You have nothing. You have the Kansas City left hand in your pocket. You got fucking nothing. What are you reaching for, jokes? I just don't understand, Patrick. Now I feel bad. I feel bad for you. Oh, I feel horrible. This is brutal. <laughs> I mean, is this what you wanted? Worse, me are you into like? Are you into like getting beat yeah, sexually do you too? Yeah, do you choke yourself. You just love punishment. Tell the truth. Actually, no. I'm pretty easy going. Pretty easy going. Missionary position all the way. Oh, Lady yeah. on top. My God. Well, Patrick, uh, I don't think it's gonna get any worse than you. So uh, that's a good way to start the show. Boo this man. Boo him. Wow. My God. Milwaukee, you don't think this, uh, all these sign-ups are going to be like that guy, do you? How many of you like it when comedians do that bad on the show? <laughs> that was a trick question. No one likes it that bad. How many of you like it when comedians try and do bad? There you go. How many of you like it when comedians do good? Wow, it's a positive town. Everything's upside down here. <laughs> New kids on the block are slaughtering across the street right now. And we got fucking Patrick Brand. Like, I didn't think that this would ever even happen. It's like, what the fuck? You put your fucking name in the fucking bucket. That was it. He's dead now. That was the sound of Patrick shooting himself. Pull another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for your next comedian. First comedian of the night. Breck M. Hall, everybody. Breck M. Hall. Hey, here we go. 
She's smiling, confident. Here we fucking go. Come on, make some noise for Breck M. Hall. Hey, Milwaukee, how y'all doing tonight? Awesome. So I'm 21, my husband's 44, and there's a lot of assumptions that come along with that. Like, um, I married him for money, or he married me because he had a midlife crisis, but our love is real. I married him because he's so sweet and smart, and he married me because I have daddy issues. <laughs> so we both tattoo for a living, and I love when the college white girls come in and want to get an inner lip tattoo. So it's never anything like ordinary. They always get real raunchy stuff like cum dumpster or fuck me or daddy. Um, and it's because no one else is going to see except them, except jokes on you, bitch. Your dentist is going to know you're a hoe. <laughs> awesome. So I just got married this year to my husband, and it's been real good. You can finish it. Oh, I didn't have anything else. Okay, say. perfect. There you go. I like that, by the way. I like that. Thank you. Just fucking keep going. I'm glad I you got like married that. to your husband. <laughs> if you're wondering if that's the way to do it, that's the way to do it. The show has begun with Breck M. Hall. Awesome. First time doing stand-up? Yes, it is. Congratulations. Very cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Really good set. Uh, that is so cool. You're born and raised here in Milwaukee? Um, I lived in California for a little bit, but I've been here most of my life. Okay. In Janesville, Wisconsin. If you've wow. ever been there, hell yeah. Where's Janesville at? Is that near, like, making a murder country? Um, kind of. I mean, it's... It's close to Beloit, so... Ooh, you're just naming there. more cities that sound horrible. This is exciting. <laughs> it's places I will never be, or I will drive through at 85 yeah. miles an hour. It's one or the <laughs> other. Or fly over one day when I get my pilot's bison's. Uh, <laughs> pilot's bison. To get an idea of what Janesville's like, they hired their first black police officer two years ago. Did he shoot himself? <laughs> That's how we do it here in Wisconsin. I told him, yeah, that's what shoot yourself. <laughs> that dentist joke was hilarious. There, there's a lot more that you could go to that. Because uh, that would oh, make a lot you. of sense. The dentist is, knows all, all the sluts. Yeah, exactly. They're like, oh, I don't want my parents to see. And I'm like, joke's on you. Is right? it true that uh, someone got a tattoo that says cum dumpster? No, oh, no. you made that one not. up. I Because I wanted to meet that girl wherever <laughs> she is. Yes. That's, just, that's so fucking hot. Like, how do you not see that tattoo and cum immediately? Yeah. Just like, oh, you fucking bitch. Oh. <laughs> 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 Simon, why do you seem disappointed at me? My name's Sherman. <laughs> Sherman? Yes. I thought it was Sher Simon. I've been away from my wife for the last 30 years. <laughs> oh, man. What do you think is going to happen if you ever blow a load? A whale will die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Breck, 21 and 44, huh? 44-year-old yes. husband. You got married this year? We did, yes. Right. Because you can't get married before 21, 44, in the city, you know, where it's known for its bars and alcohol. Where'd you meet this guy? Um, I met him when I was 18. He sure <laughs> you did. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Not totally. 16. Totally 18, uh-huh. He was the owner of the tattoo studio we work at, so I came in and got an apprenticeship, and that's when we sure, went. I bet you did. Yeah, one in the ink, two in the stink. Let's do this. <laughs> Class is in session. You might feel a slight burn. Um, <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Truly 18. How soon after your 18th birthday did you go? Oh, my God. It was like three months later, so yeah. I was so lucky, you guys. I was right. So lucky. And yeah, he's so lucky. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One in the pink, tattoo in the stink. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> anyway. Um, wow. So 18. And then how soon after that did you guys do? Was your first hookup at the tattoo shop? Oh, my God. Uh, yes. It wow. Was. You just had an orgasm just remembering that. Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> he stuck you with his needle. Yeah. Right. So, like, right can you needle. explain to us how that first uh, session went down? Like, did you, oh. were you, you you guys sort of had a crush on each other? You were closing up the shop, right? Or was yeah. it or was it on a lunch break? Or what? Oh are we no, talking it was about? at the it was at the end of the day. Like everyone was gone. Yeah. Um, at the time, I was like, I don't know how to describe. It. I was like an internet anime girl. Uh huh. I like dressed like that a lot, oh. and uh -huh. he was like, "Don't wear um, thigh high socks and a dress to work." So I wore it to work. 
And then after he did his last tattoo and everyone left, he bent me over the table and we did it. Oh. And now the rest is Fuck history. Yeah. My <laughs> fucking God. Yeah. And how long after this did he tattoo cum dumpster on the inside of your lip? <laughs> that should be wow. my tattoo. That should be my next one. Hey, it's here. That is incredible. Wow. What is the uh, what is the worst tattoo you've had to give out? Oh my god, I did a guy's girlfriend's name on his face. Oh yeah. No. It was when you were I was an apprentice, I couldn't say no. I just had to do whatever. Oh the my door. But it was god. Juanita above his eyebrow, like Juanita. That's the worst name and yeah. I'm Mexican. <laughs> And she was there during the tattoo, like watching. Of course she was. He wow. probably fucked up, and she's like, "We're going right now." Yeah. <laughs> Bold like move, said- since especially most of the Juanitas I've ever met don't know how to read. <laughs> so it's like, what's the point of having her tattoo on her face? Should have just gotten her face on his face. Right. I know. Like, Yo, that's me, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, exciting stuff. Uh, so you've been with this guy uh, for three years. Yes. That's fun. And you guys mm-hmm. tattoo together, and you basically like run the shop together now. Yes, we Was do. everybody else at the tattoo shop sort of disappointed when you guys started hooking up because they all got bumped back, <laughs> like the vice president got demoted? <laughs> no, no, there was only other one other guy working there at the time. Heck so. yeah, I like your style. You're like a you're like a like a some type of like dirty Chelsea Clinton or something like that. <laughs> oh my god, so, thanks. <laughs> I like it. Man. How many tattoos do you have? I have about 20. 20? Mm-hmm. Wow. What's your biggest one? My biggest one, I have my wedding bouquet tattooed on the back of my thigh, and that's my largest one. Wow. Damn. I uh, thought wake I would... up and smell the roses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. My goodness. Yep. That is incredible. Well, my I... largest tattoo is on the bottom of my foot, and it reads, Barnacle Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else uh, wacky about you we should know about? Anything uh, interesting about you? Parents, uh, what do they do? What, 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 where, do, where do parents go wrong to make an 18-year-old tattoo artist uh, get, marry the first boss that she has at her first real job <laughs> immediately? Well, my dad is a pharmaceutical salesman. Ah, ah big medicine. There you go. Yeah, and yep. then my mom is a scientist. Wow, yeah. what kind of scientist? Microbiology. Wow, well, it doesn't yeah. take a microbiology scientist to know she raised a little hoe, huh? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. I'm she just raised joking. me well. Land ho! <laughs> That's so cool. What do you and your husband do for fun? Um, we like to ride motorcycles. That's pretty fun. Hell yeah. We go hiking, Devil's Lake. Wisconsin's a beautiful place. Damn, you guys seem like fucking rock stars. That's so cool. Just fucking take our motorcycles to Devil's Lake. You know, not fucking need it. Fuck yeah. You know, we just wear brass knuckles and fucking shadow box around the house. <laughs> you know what I mean? No fucking Whoa. big deal, dude. You guys don't have tattoo equipment on you, do you? No, I wish. I would totally do that tattoo on your face. Yeah. yeah you know what the, the fuck's too bad. <laughs> yeah. Do you I think you're going to do uh, uh, stand up again, or is this something you just wanted to do once for the show? It's more like that. This is a bucket list thing. I love this show, and it's just really awesome to be able to get up and do well, this. Well, I'll tell you, you know, you did, uh, you did uh, so much. But maybe it has to do with that. Maybe it's the calmness of just uh, knowing that you were just going to do it this once or something like that. But you did everything right tonight. You talked about uh, shit personal to you. You came up and you gave us the goods right away, 21, 44, all that stuff. And you had jokes about you and tattoos and your actual life, and you did it perfectly. So thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Breck- M. Hall, everybody, getting us fucking started. Come on, guys, make some noise for her. That's how it's done. In the lakes that you're used to. Look at that lucky guy right there. Lucky son of a bitch. But I think you're moving too fast. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know TLC, Fisherman? I've been at sea a long time. <laughs> the TLC. <laughs> All right, I pulled a name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Aaron Lipsky, everyone. Aaron Lipsky. Aaron. Oh, two females in a row. Is this Aaron from last night? No, this is a new Aaron Lipsky. Is it? Come on, everybody, make some noise for Aaron. Wow, I am uh, very nervous to be up here. I was hoping I would get pulled from that bucket a little bit later 
when all of you were a little more drunk, compliant, willing to go along with what I, fuck, you weren't supposed to do your Cosby impression up here? Don't try and be one of the greats. That's one of the first rules of stand up. No. And then he was one of the greats. I met Bill once. Um, it was brief in a hotel. It was nothing special. It wasn't memorable or, oh shit. Maybe I just didn't remember it. Any of you ever get a punchline fucked up by a repressed memory? Hashtag me too. Um, but no, I don't do comedy um, because there's always one person with a look. So if I came up here like talking about how I love dick all the time in a comical way, I would just become the answer to the question no one is asking. Could Amy Schumer be more well-fed? Yep. Um, but no, I am, a, I am actually an entrepreneur. I run a self-important masonry business called Hubrix thinking about spelling it with an X to make it a little more sassy. But uh, I don't know, we're still working on that. This Hell was yeah. a minute. Yeah, no, I there hope. was a cat. Okay. There was a cat. Could have been a little bit louder. How about one more time for Aaron Lipsky, everybody? <laughs> Hell yeah. That was fun. You got me with the Amy Schumer thing. I yeah. love a good yes. fucking Schumer joke. <laughs> yeah. No doubt about it. Thank you. I love that. Uh, let's well, check in with Sherman practice. over there. The reason the first joke didn't work was because no one believes that Bill Cosby would roofie you. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually meet him once, though, in an elevator, briefly, at a you double did? tree. Yeah. Did you ask him for uh, pudding? I did not talk to him at all. It was before all the Hannibal drama and everything. Um, I didn't like the guy because he had a problem with comics swearing, and fuck that. Wow, uh, look at you. Uh, Hell yeah. yeah. I like your, a fan. I like your style. Look at you. Let's You're a see. wild one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, that's fun. I, I mean, I'm surprised everyone that I saw going across the street to New Kids on the Block looks exactly like you. <laughs> so I'm surprised that you're even here with I, us. I would have been there for Naughty by Nature. Tretch does follow me on Twitter. What up? Uh, he wow, that is one of the yeah. weirdest names to drop I've I ever know, heard. Right? Wow, right. a black guy into a chunky white woman. I don't believe it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so true. Oh, hell yeah. You are. You are a wild little look at you. You have a you have a look. I'm into it. I don't know what it is, but I I I'd You look it. like every woman in those cuckold hotel videos <laughs> yeah, exactly. on Pornhub. <laughs> Absolutely. Those fucking Black Stallion impregnates <laughs> chunky yeah. white woman. Exactly. Well husband watches. Bad hotel lighting. This they is have exciting. their socks on. Hell yeah. <laughs> that would totally drop my rate for a scene I don't go black. Wait, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> she doesn't go black. Wow. That's the girl. Have you ever been sure? with a uh, Have you ever been with a uh, black man before? Oh, yeah, no, I'm a chunky white woman from Never. Wisconsin. God, yes. You have. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, do you mostly uh, what What stands out to you about black men that's different than white men in the bedroom, other it, than penis size? Um, they are way more vocal. They are way more willing to say what they. Yeah, like, like what? Like, hey, bitch, give me a sandwich. <laughs> like what kind of a. Uh, they what don't do have to ask. I just do that all by myself. Hell yeah, you're already making Come one on. for yourself. Why not? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, I love how you're taking these. You laugh at these harder than anybody here. It's so fucking cool. You have such a you have such a good sense of humor for a little downsy pog. You know what I'm saying? It, it works out. I I fuck above my weight, which is impossible to believe. Yeah. But so I don't mind the joke. So you like big men. No, no, no. I, um, I should say my weight classes, and I fuck really good-looking guys. Oh, look so at you. So I'm worried about it. Hell yeah. I'm fuck right. yeah. I do all right. I That's do all exciting. Right. My goodness. <laughs> you have any uh, special moves that you do in the bedroom? The fucking uh, big, like, the big, uh, any, like, uh, preferences or, like... Besides the making the sandwich? Yeah, besides the making oh. the sandwich. Anything um, in, in the bedroom? Any out of the kitchen you activities? Know, um, I, I don't do it here because it's illegal in Wisconsin and I wouldn't break the law, but smoking while fucking is really fun. Wow, look at you. Oh my God. You talking about meats? <laughs> <laughs> I love that you said that you don't do it here because it's illegal. That was a this is something. That was an oh, were you in? Back. Oh, you were yes. in Appleton. I oh, was. okay, yes. very good. Because uh, yes. we've been talking about that quite a bit. How yes. much it stood out to us. There were some a couple people in yeah. Appleton last a night that made it. Eight percent of Wisconsin voted for it to be legal, but we're not a referendum state like California, so it hasn't happened yet. But we all want it. It's very bizarre what's happening here in Wisconsin. 
it seems like it seems after being here for a couple of days since being a fan of making a murder like <laughs> i've realized that the entire state is a bunch of it, the entire state does to everybody basically what they did to the yeah. Avery yes. family. Like yeah. they just fucking arrest yes. anybody they can for absolutely anything it's, immediately. Yes. It's a total police state out here. We even like went to play pool last night, and the bartender was like, "We don't want any trouble from you guys." Yeah. And we're like, "What the fuck?" And he goes, "There's a police officer <laughs> sitting right out there." And we look, and it was an empty bar, by the way, big empty bar on a Tuesday night in Appleton. And we looked out, and the, o- the only person in the parking lot was sitting there was a fucking cop. cop. And, uh, so, and an unmarked car just sitting with his car waiting on. for trouble like and by the way you guys don't even think this is weird that's yeah. the weird part that is very true that's yeah. weird but you don't know it's weird because you fucking live it you're just like yeah you get arrested if you fucking do anything what's your question I don't understand by the way you are the second sexy Benjamin Franklin we've had <laughs> on this show I rate I rain on that Hell yeah. I don't see it. I, a little bit. I don't see it it's, for it, me. It's a little bit of a stretch, but then again, so were those pants you're wearing. <laughs> 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 My goodness. I love you, Aaron. You are so cool. I love, you. I love the way you laugh and take all these jokes. You fucking love it. Uh, what do you do for fun? For fun? Yeah. Uh, I actually, um, stand-up is a really big thing for me. A lot of my friends are in the scene out here, so I go to their shows and help them run shows. Um, I'm a big podcast person, of course. Oh, we know you're a big, a big podcast person. <laughs> I'm a big, a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Go big or go home. I love it, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. fucking uh, Is there any truth to the fact that uh, when you get hungry, you eat all the cheese curds in the uh, Wisconsin area? You know what? If it was possible, I sure as hell would. I think you guys just got one. really sensitive at a cheese one. curds joke. Like, it's like everything yes. but cheese yes. curds. Don't You're fuck not with gonna the cheese allow. curds. We don't think that's funny here. I'm about to call the police on you. There's that's actually a law here. 71.45. No making fun of the curds. There's a spot in Appleton that puts cheese curds on the burger even. Because oh that has God. to happen. Oh, my God. Yep. I just came in we my had pants. Macaroni and che- <laughs> we had macaroni and cheese and jalapeno poppers on a burger this morning for yes. breakfast. Yeah. Yes, we did. Typical Fuck breakfast. It. Unbelievable. Uh, sweet and salty pig halfway Shout between out. here and Madison. If you guys ever are not Madison, uh, between here and Appleton, halfway there, fucking check out that place. Unbelievable if you're ever around there for lunch. Anyway, uh, well, Aaron, I mean, this was a lot of what? Oh, Sherman. I see that you have a tattoo on your right arm that's Asian. What does it mean? It is uh, Japanese for ki, or as most people know it, chi. The inner ability to use mind over matter to defeat any opponent. Wow. Hell yeah. In what? Hot dog eating competitions? I'm a, I'm a red belt oh. in taekwondo. I can I lo- hold my own. Oh, very cool. Fucking taekwondo. I, I like that. You uh, got Chinese on the I'm outside. I'm no Eddie Bravo, but I can hold it. I can do my own. I bet you fucking can. <laughs> I bet you would beat the shit out of me. I bet Quad Tooth would love her. <laughs> and, uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well... I Inside so. joke. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, well, Aaron, uh, I had a lot of fun with you tonight. Did you have fun? I'm a little worried about it. Absolutely. I am so happy to do it, and thank you so much. This is yeah. fantastic. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Aaron. There she goes, Aaron Lipsky, everybody. Hey, I didn't ask you. Is that your Aaron, 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 Aaron? Is that your first time? First time doing stand-up. There she goes, everybody, Aaron Lipsky. We're having fun. Wow, so far, females kicking the guy's ass. I uh, know. I love that. We've, I, had, we've had three pussies on this stage tonight yeah. so far. And, and, uh, two of them are wet. What? Nothing. Oh, my God. All right, pull another name out. Make some noise for Andy Fish, everybody. Andy oh. Fish. Let's see what happens here. His last name's Fish, guys. How cool is that with the fishermen up here? Where the hell's Andy at? Is this there him? He Here he comes. Andy Fish, everyone. There he is. One more time for Andy. All right. Thank you, guys. All right, so about the last six months, I've been taking this thing called Accutane just to help with my face, acne reduction, things like that. Um, one thing they tell you, the only thing they told me was that it's going to be helping my face and it's going to be getting really dry, irritated. What they didn't tell me... What they didn't tell me was that it's gonna be making my asshole extremely dry. (laughs) 
And the third thing they didn't tell me was that it's me making my girlfriend's pussy even more dry. And <laughs> pretty much just from hearing me for six months talk about how dry my asshole is. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, I love my girlfriend. She happens to live with this other girl. It's been getting pretty annoying for about the past eight months or so. Um, I tell her she's 28. She's got two more years before they start, stop calling her roommates and start calling them lesbians. I got two more years. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I got. Okay, Andy uh, Fish. Uh, yeah. What did that last joke mean? What, what do you mean? Oh, uh, my girlfriend's 28, and uh-huh. she has a roommate. It's kind of annoying, you know, at night, the noise uh-huh. and whatnot, so. And you're saying two more years, and then The roommates, but now everyone's going to start calling them lesbians. Uh-huh, because they've been living together for so long. Right. I like his last name. Yeah, it is Fish. Fish is your real last name. Fisher. <laughs> what? Even better. Fisher? ER at the oh, end, Oh, you yeah. changed it for stand-up? Andy Fish? Why not? Get a little crazy. I guess so. Yeah. Wow, crazy. Yeah. Has your girl ever fucked around with the other girl? I don't think so. No way. The girl's really straight edge. When you say you don't think so, what do you mean? What, what well, I mean, they've it? been friends since they were little kids. You know, you never well, know what so happens. So she definitely you know? has. She's probably put a couple pencils in there or something okay, when she was younger. all right. Red band. A toothbrush. My People goodness. experiment. You never know. Andy, okay. so this is your first time doing stand-up? It is, yeah. And I've never been on a stage before or anything. Never been on a stage no, before. Never. You did. Uh, okay. What do you do for work? I work at a veterinary hospital. You work at a what? A veterinary hospital doing oh, yeah. back-end paperwork, accounting, finance, uh-huh. things like that. What do you do? At, you, uh, paper, is that what you said? Paperwork? Pap- not anything medical related. All the back-end billing and paperwork, accounting, wow. things like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so do you get to see animals? Oh, yeah, every day. Yeah. Right. Uh, what's your favorite animal? Um, any kind of super huge dog. I love. I have a German Shepherd, so I love mm-hmm. puppies and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. Uh, is that uh, something? Is that your passion in life? Is there something else that uh, you want to do or love or something? I like? mean, I would love to get into more of the media side of like the music scene or something like that. Uh-huh. Um, do you practice with that stuff now? Do you have like a program or something like that? Like just like video recording and things like that. Uh, uh-huh. Video concert, like video recording concerts and things like that. Um, have you ever done that before? Um, s- nothing professional or anything like that. Have wish. you ever thought about come maybe uh, maybe asking, you know, like if new kids on the block come into town or something like that? What You're am I doing here right now? I should be over there, just, you know. It's true. So it's anyway, true. you talked about uh, you talked about Accutane, right? Yeah, that's yeah. true. How much longer do you have on that thing? Like two more weeks. We've had Unfucking friends. Unfucking my face. We've had friends Absolutely. that have done that before. You, you're so you're through the hard part where all the acne comes out, right? right. Yeah. What yeah. was that like? Uh, pure hell. Yeah. yeah, it was. How long was that for? A couple months? Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, no, I don't know, but oh, I sort of so know. When I was a kid, I went to the doctor to get Accutane. They said that uh, it would make me want to kill myself, maybe. And I said, I wouldn't want to kill myself true. if I didn't have acne. There you go. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm glad I said that. <laughs> and that's a real He's fisherman for that. you right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been with this girlfriend of yours? Uh, almost a year now. And mm-hmm. So everything's popping, yeah. just like your pimples used to? Kind of, kind of. She's four years older than me, so I'm kind of... I feel Whoa, kind of that, so. cougar. It's good for me. It's good for Hell me. yeah. What does she do? Uh, she works with uh, kids with autism. Kids with autism. Are, yeah. we st- are you talking about yourself or... I knew it. I didn't want to say what... She- <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I didn't want to say, Tony. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What do you do for fun, Andy? Uh, I love to rock climb. It's one of my favorite things to do. Go really? hiking outside, things like that. Wow. Yeah. Look at you. You do yeah. that regularly? Yeah. There's a place right down the road here, too. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. It, it, where, where you can climb rocks? It's where, like an indoor rock What are rock we talking about? Place. Crack rocks? <laughs> like, what, what kind of... What kind That's of, a little further that way. I'm talking Oh, you mean way. like indoor rock climbing, <laughs> like a type of gymnasium or something like that, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, inside. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's cool that you... Oh, they, I love sailing the seven seas inside <laughs> indoor swimming pools. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's the best I got. It's the best I got. Yeah, I like climbing uh, plastic rocks, you know, no big deal. <laughs> wow. Anything else, Andy? Anything other than uh, climbing rocks and hiking? Um... My, one of my favorite things is just going to random music festivals and things like that. Yeah, but I mean, I get that. But tell us something like revealing about you. Tell us something that you don't think you would ever actually tell us, and then you just said it, and you can't believe that you said it, and you're going to drive home, and you're like, I can't believe I fucking said that. 
okay. I was giving him, because everything you're telling me sounds One of my like, favorite things to do to spontaneously have sex with my girlfriend is anywhere, you know, any room that has like a mirror, or like a mirror, it's like, you know, a sliding glass door, it's a mirror or something sure. like that or anything like that. It's yeah. a spontaneous, uh, it's like, a, it, yeah. So wait, what? It's like the one thing, the you know, fuck like, did you just if say? you go into a room uh-huh. and there's like a, like a bedroom or any kind of like enclosed room and there's a mirror being one of the walls, or like one of those old sliding glass uh-huh. doors. It's just like, that's the one thing. It's like, all right, we look at each other. It's like, all right. It's, You're yeah. turned on by your reflection? I don't, I don't know. It's just, I, don't, I don't think we're, I don't think we're quite... Denominator. I think you're forgetting part of, like, the sentence that you're trying to say or something. Like, like You're saying, like, hey, you know the things, like the sliding doors with a mirror on it? And we're like, yeah. And you're like, yeah. that's it. He, he and I'm like, wait, what? And the, what do the, you do with it? What do you... When what do you, you fuck. When you fuck with mirrors. He likes right, mirrors. I thought you understood. I'm oh. Tony, he's yeah. saying that he likes to seek out mirrors in rooms yeah. and have sex with his girl. Whoa. Just go... Wow. Oh my goodness. Sherman's doing an act out right now. He's, it's been so long since he's had sex. He uh, likes to keep his hip movement ready for it's it. It's been 30 years. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Uh, anywhere, where's, what's the craziest place that you and your girlfriend have had sex? In the poop deck. <laughs> a poop deck? It was a poop deck? It was actually. The second time I ever met her parents, we went up to her bedroom, and then her bedroom, her childhood bedroom, had a sliding glass door with a mirror on it. I wow! You ever been to a fun house like one of those mazes of mirrors? I never yeah. thought of, that's next. Yeah. That is. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just come in your pants when you walk in, like fuck, is that me stretched out? Oh, <laughs> that's crazy that that <laughs> seeing your reflection you. turns you on so much. It's like it's watching. It's, reflection. it's like watching a porno and having sex at the same time. I guess, it right? Kind of is, He's yeah. like, oh, my skin's clearing up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, Andy, very cool. Is this stand up something you've always wanted to do? I've been a fan of the show forever, so this has been a bucket list thing. I love so. it. Did you have fun tonight? Yeah, I'm glad I got to meet you guys. This well, is there awesome. you fucking Thank go. You. There he goes, Appreciate Andy Fish. Thank everybody, you back to the sea he goes. Good fish. That's interesting. What song is that? An original. Oh, wow. How about a hand for the band tonight, huh? They're here. It's the real fucking deal. Jeremiah Watkins coming off fresh off Reagan and Watkins. Joelberg Joel Jimenez is here. Make some noise for your next comedian, Donald Dargan. Here we go. Donald Dargan. Let's see what happens here. Here he comes. One more time for Donald, everybody. How's it going, Milwaukee? All right, so uh, I drive a lot for work. I just came back from the Mexican border. I went down to Laredo. Um, I had to get checked by Border Patrol coming back, and of course, I bring weed with me everywhere. I gotta smoke, you know? Um, I, uh, as I'm going through, you know, he's asking me, is anybody in there? Uh, what, do you, what were you doing down here? That's where I fucked up. He asked me what I was doing. I said, oh, you know, I just, I got to drop something off down in Laredo. As soon as I fucking said that, his eyes shot up. A couple of Border Patrol officers start walking from behind him, you know. I start trying to plea my case, right? I'm like, no, 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 three pallets, blah, 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 whatever. They pull me out of the car, make me fucking, you know, check me, whatever. Uh, yeah, after that. Then uh, they asked me, they said, you got drugs on you? I said, no, check, check the car, whatever. I was always told, don't carry anything you can't fit in your ass. So I only brought a couple of grams, a pipe, a bong, a grinder, a skate, you know. The, the essentials, the essentials. All right, Donald Dargan. Thank you, thank you. Donald Dargan and his big giant asshole, huh? How did your asshole get so big, Donald? How did that happen? I'm, I'm fucking around, dude. I only had a couple of girls. You have a tight little asshole. Proof. Very good. I mean, a, a finger. You know, is, that, is that what goes in there sometimes? Yours? I'm not, ag- I, I'm not for it, but I'm not against it. So has someone stuck their finger in your butt before? Yes. Someone done it more than once? Uh, a couple of, it's not like, not a bunch, not a it's bunch. okay, not what are you afraid of? I, th- I think they want you to admit that you've had shit in your a butt couple, before. A couple of times, couple what, of times. One I mean, finger is called a gay fish hook. <laughs> you ever put your own finger in your butt when you masturbate? 
I've tried it, but only once. Well, it that, wasn't. It that, wasn't as good. It that's called a bait and switch. <laughs> <laughs> so Donald, you did it, dude. First time on stage tonight. Uh, first time doing stand up. I've been on stage here and there. What, what have you done on stages before? I was in the band in high school. Yeah, what was the name of that band? No, just like the school band, man. Oh, what in- West Dallas Central, woo! <laughs> what instrument did I'm you joking, play? I'm joking, I'm joking. Donald, over here, over here, Sorry. Donald, relax. What are you, cutting fucking promos out there? <laughs> Pay attention over here. Uh, what instrument did you play when you played in the school band? Uh, percussion, but not, like, not drums, right. more like bells and shit. Right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I'm not... You seem more like a bell boy. I agree. Uh, so Donald, that's very exciting. That that what you did was you told a story about the taking weed across the what border? Canada? It, no, no, no. It was, I just went down to Laredo. I just got back. Yeah, Laredo, two days ago. Texas. Right, Mexican border. So, oh, okay. And you went to Mexico. I didn't go into Mexico, but I could like the next exit was Mexico. So why did you go across the border? No, but you still have to get checked by border patrol when you go back north because right. immigrants and whatnot. Right. Wow. He's I'm sitting a, right there. He's hey, right there I'm next to you. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm against them. I'm just saying they check. I mean, come Why on. did you whisper the word immigrant? Immigrants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got to be careful just because Joel's... I couldn't say Mexicans. It's, he's sitting right there. Joel's a, fisher, Joel's a fisherman uh, today, so his back is just a little bit more wet than usual. Uh, <laughs> So tell us, uh, tell us about you, uh, Donald. Do we know what you do for work yet? I make popcorn and drive expedited freight. You, why would popcorn. you say make popcorn first? Because that's the main... All right, so that's the main, that's the main thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Go to Mayfair Mall, treat street popcorn. Uh, we Ooh. make popcorn over 70, over 80 flavors, something like that now. Wow. Jesus, all right, Colonel Sanders. Relax, don't yell at me. My God. How long have you been making popcorn for? Uh, just a little while. It's a buddy's fiance and his, his little business, and I just came in to kind of help. So how long did it take for him to pop the question? <laughs> he said fiance. No, 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 no. It's my buddy and his fiance. Popcorn. They deal pop. I've been at sea for so, a long time. Yeah. So they, they, All of these aren't going to work, you scoundrels. You said they have 80 flavors. Is there like uh, like gross flavors now? Like do you have like old sock popcorn nah, or no? Oh, we come don't, on. We don't really do like the jelly gross, bean. But you we, have jelly bean flavor? Not really. We do sw- like pizza flavored. And kinda. We do like dill pickles a big pussy. one. Uh, sea salt caramel mocha. Ah. That's cool. Uh, like pineapple upside down cake. Wow, that yeah, sounds good. Wow. Every, all of it, dude. If, I'll send you guys some after the show. Gonna, yeah, where are you gonna send it to? Wherever you want. Okay. I don't have it on me. I didn't bring fucking popcorn here. I don't know. No. Relax. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to pop off like this, man. Just yeah. chill out. <laughs> this is an eight mile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Settle down, Orville Riddenbacher. I mean, <laughs> my God. All right. So you I'm make surprised popcorn. he wasn't done three minutes ago. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is you, what about freight? What'd you say? Tr- drive truck? What is it? Uh, expedited freight. So like things that, uh, it's like overfill for semis and shit or like last minute deliveries. They'll call me and be like, hey, you want to go to Texas today or you want to go to Kansas today? Whatever. Uh-huh. So then, yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. This is, and you said this was your first time doing stand up. Yes, sir. How old are you? Uh, 24. 24. What do you like to do for fun? What are like hobbies that you have when you're not fucking making popcorn? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Skateboard. Um, act. I don't know. Run and shit. What's your, what's your Twitter ha- name? NBA mean? Drunk Contest. Yeah, what's that mean? I don't know. Like the dunk contest, but I drink a lot. You drink a lot? Yeah. All of us do, really. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, what's the most you ever drank? What happened that night? Tell us about it. So uh, we did a night back in college called Oh Captain, My Captain. It was just first. <laughs> we love it. So uh, first, first group of three done with a 175 of Captain Morgan one. And my group won, but I ended up getting in a fight with a couple of random kids on the street. When you say kids, are you talking about the new kids on the block? 
No, that's later, man. Yeah. Were no. they younger than you? What do you mean by it was kids? Just some college age. I don't know. They were probably about my age, 21, uh-huh. Uh-huh. 22-ish. Uh-huh. I don't know. How'd that fight go for you? Um, one of my buddies got hit in the face with a bag of ice that this girl threw at him. Wow. Um, I mean, that doesn't sound that bad, I, to be honest with you. No, it was, that was like... That was pretty much the most of it. I missed like three punches. We were all smashed. Nobody really hit each other. It was just oh, like, so a shitty story. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I fucking we drink. We drink a lot. Uh-uh. Yeah. What are your uh, your parents still together? No. 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 Duh. <laughs> this is Milwaukee, man. Uh, you have a favorite out of your parents, mom or dad? My mom for sure. Yeah. What does she do? Uh, I don't even know really. I think she works at a gas station now. Wow, you guys yeah. seem to. Have, and that's she does. She's had a lot. That's the parent you're closest with, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. No idea. I think she might work at a gas station. In fact, she might need my help. But go on. Uh, I like your style, dude. All right, Donald. Well, congratulations. Thank I mean, you, you like to drink. He makes popcorn. Expedited fright. I, I like it. There he goes, Donald Dargan. Everyone. He's on NBA Drunk Contest on Twitter. That's a real Wisconsin guy right there. You know what I mean? Uh, he does what he he does what he has to do. He he be expedited fright, makes popcorn. That's a real Wisconsin dude. That's what all the men are like here in Wisconsin. They're all like Donald. There's a, a collective no from this audience <laughs> saying, responding to what you just said. Make some noise for your next comedian, everybody. Nick Davis. Here we go. Nick Davis. Here he comes. Milwaukee, what's going on, guys? Hell yeah. I've been single for like three months now. Not much has changed, except I'm way happier. I find myself watching more porn now. I'm not proud of that. I'm not proud of some of the video holes I go down. Uh, Recently, I found myself watching videos called Glory Hole Secrets, which I think is an oxymoron, because if I did anything at a glory hole, I would definitely keep it a secret. (laughs) But I'm very passive in relationships. Like, I'm so passive, I have a body pillow, and it's the outside spoon. So if I ever found myself at a glory hole, all I would ever do is put my hand through it (laughs) and hope somebody holds it. (laughs) They would never hold it. (laughs) Thank you. Hey, wow, look at that. Some little fucking shades of the Mos Eisley Cantina up in this motherfucker. Great set, man. I know that. Thank you. I appreciate it. I know that song. You look, you look like if Harry Potter dropped out of Hogwarts <laughs> and then gave everybody Hogwarts. <laughs> have you ever I, been to a place with a glory hole for real? I've never. Actually, well, I've been to Superb Video in Kenosha. I don't know if anyone is. They de- that's, there's probably a glory hole, but I haven't confirmed. <laughs> I think it's probably. Uh, I yeah. think it's probably pretty easy. Everywhere, <laughs> everywhere I've seen so far in Milwaukee has been a hole in the wall. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, everywhere in Wisconsin's a hole in the wall. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll. Yeah. I guess I'll be more broad next time. Yeah, I'm not even from here, bro. Come on. I man. love it. I love it. Look at you. Yeah. I look at you. You look like uh, Johnny Depp when he's in between projects. <laughs> Like when he's just like let himself go. He's been on a bender for a month. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, what do you do, Nick? Uh, I am an Olive Garden server. <laughs> what? Yeah. America, America, God shed his breadsticks on yeah. the. He looks like Mark Maron with no ambition. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Moron. How long you been uh, at the Olive Garden? Uh, nine months or so now, buddy. Man, it's yeah. like never ending. Yeah, yeah, breadstick salad, whatever you need, buddy. I'll help you out. Wow. Yeah. Well, I want to let you know that when you're here, dude, you're family. Thank you. All I right? appreciate it. Yeah. 
Not going to be Thanks. that mean yeah. to you. We love the Olive Garden. In fact, we just went there a couple weeks ago on yeah. leg, on leg one of this You guys want to swing down floor? for lunch tomorrow on your way to Chicago. I'll be serving wow. breadsticks. Oh, I lunch. just came. Uh, is that really true? Is absolutely. That a, is yeah, your Olive Garden on the way? Pleasant Prairie, baby. Yeah. What Pleasant. time do you work tomorrow? What time uh, do you start? I believe like 11 a.m. until about 2 p.m. or so. Is it really on the way? Can you guys confirm yeah. that? <laughs> All right. It's yeah. Pleasant what? What's the name of the city? Pleasant. Uh, it's in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. Pleasant Prairie. Right off the interstate on Highway 50. Are we sure Pleasant Prairie isn't the gayest part of Milwaukee? Yeah, that sounds what the like. Fuck? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. It is actually probably the Do you have any thing. Olive Garden tips? Like, you know, a long time ago, somebody goes, hey, you should always order the Alfredo dipping sauce for the yeah, breadstick. Yeah, that's actually Changed true, my yeah. life. Yeah. I agree with who, you. Who recommended it? I know yeah. it wasn't a doctor that recommended it. Definitely that. not a doctor. Actually, our, um, our manager just got a pacemaker put in. Uh, because for the last 30 years, he's only been eating Alfredo meatballs. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I didn't understand his sense of humor at all. But when, when he came back from his surgery, I threatened to punch him in the pacemaker. Wow. And then we were cool. Hell yeah. I threatened. I said I'd Bluetooth hack his pacemaker because it has a Bluetooth sensor. And I said, I'm going to right. shut off your fucking lungs, Jeff. And he just laughed. Jesus, wow. wow. Some like yeah. inside, inside all of Garden It's really, jokes it's, a, it's right very there. dark. It's a very dark kitchen. Heck yeah. Well, that wasn't a, a tip. I mean, really, there's a lot of black you people. Want a <laughs> Is there any secret menu items would be yeah. a better question. Yeah, is there anything you'd recommend? Secrets, yes. Um, just go there at lunch. There's like the dinner duos are the secret. If you go there between 3 and 5 p.m., mm. you get the same portions as dinner right. for half the price, basically. Uh, Those are the buy one, take yeah. one right now. Wow, but, o- but only from 3 to 5? Are you sure tomorrow it's not from 11.30 to 12.30? Uh, <laughs> I'm not bartending tomorrow. I don't. I don't have that kind of control. You oh know I mean? no. Oh, that that's just for drinks. Hey, is what soup you're and saying. salad. I can ring that. I don't even have to ring. Yeah, that that's what we're talking. We don't. You know we're not. I mean? We're not drinking during the day. We're not. We're not from Wisconsin. Guys, if, right? uh, we have fucking work to do tomorrow. Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I don't make popcorn. You fucking idiots. <laughs> you guys are fun. Uh, so Nick, how yeah. long? Are you nine months at Olive Garden? Correct. So one yeah. could say you're about to finally the baby's about to come out. The yeah. Little fucking. I mean, I got this. Yeah, pretty much soon. I'm gonna pop out a big meatball. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, what do you do for fun? Uh, I mean, I, I play basketball a little bit now and then. Uh, really? You play I, basketball? Oh well. No, this is what <laughs> basketball players look like. I was here? at Appleton last night. Use that joke, Tony, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, I Come know. On, it's a uh, podcast. <laughs> what are you, the ball? <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. It's, it's, you, you I also, oh, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead, no, you go ahead. He's, oh, just I, su- he's just surprised that average-looking white guys with no height play basketball in Wisconsin. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's all it, we are. It okay. is something that every the time... The Ricky Rubio of Wisconsin. What do you want from me? Okay, what okay. else? Other than uh, playing I basketball. Recently, I play a little music here and there. I bought uh, nothing, not drums. I bought a, I have a Casio DG10 electric guitar thing I fuck with. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's fun. Uh, stand up. I've been doing this for a while. What's your so. love life like? Uh, weird. Yeah. 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 So tell us about it. Uh, I've been single for a few months. Uh, there's, yeah, just like, it's weird. I don't know how dating works in your mid 20s. This is wild. Tinder's dumb. Uh, don't date people you work with. Kind of the. Don't wear a denim vest. Yeah. They'll do it. I mean, you say don't date people you work with, but yeah. I, I know about the restaurant business, okay? And, yeah. I, and I can imagine what it's like working in an Olive Garden. You know, you see these fucking, you, you think you, you know, you, first of all, you can relate to them. You go out for drinks afterwards. All mm-hmm. of a sudden, your fucking little breadstick starts getting a little hard. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Last, uh, what? What about it? Yeah. No, I never said that I worked at Olive Garden, but I have worked in restaurants, multiple restaurants, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, uh, Luis's Trattoria. What's the one um, right by you in Burbank? Market City Cafe. Oh, yeah. Are you? Are you? Would you like my fucking resume, you piece of shit? You worked at Starbucks. Yeah, I fucking did that yeah. too on my way to becoming one of the top young rising comedians in the world. You son of a bitch. Yeah. This fucking guy over here. Yeah, people I, telling me I'm repeating jokes. People correcting me. What the fuck is happening, Milwaukee? I've I've worked for like 12 years as a waiter, and you just yeah. fuck that. You fuck everybody. You go it's out true. drinking every night and spend all your money. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm broke as fuck. Yeah. I took off this week to go. I'm going to four dates, by the way. It's the second of the four shows I'm going to, and. Uh, 
took off the week so I didn't have to work, and then I got broke as fuck from drinking all the time. So right. now I'm working the whole week yeah. and coming to all these shows. So, yeah. Damn. The, the drinks are so cheap out here. How do you go broke from drinking? Because you're not like, making uh, anything. I'm a here. server at Olive Garden. I'm not making much. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah the, it, it's, yeah. it's all relevant. Okay. Yeah. 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 I work lunches at an Olive Garden. You think those old women? No, we, uh, we're already yeah. sad. Yeah. Let's move on. Okay, yeah. thank you. Keep me in line, yeah. Well, Nick, uh, I mean, who knows? You might get lucky. We might swing by uh, Pleasant Prairie tomorrow and have lunch with you. Yeah, uh, I'll be there, man. Request me. Maybe, yeah, we could get, sure. maybe, maybe we could get a lot of these people here to, uh, to yeah. go to have Pleasant lunch Prairie with you. Pleasant Prairie tomorrow. Go to Pleasant yeah. Prairie Olive Garden tomorrow. Go see Nick. Thank Tip you so him much. well. The guy yeah, needs okay, some guys, money. Thank you. Olive Garden party. Olive Garden party tomorrow, Pleasant Prairie. Uh, we'll say uh, 11.45. And check out my song on uh, YouTube, Olive Garden Butthole. That's true. YouTube. Red Band loves Olive Garden. But really, everybody loves Olive Garden. <laughs> Have you, ever, have you ever been to the uh, one that's like a red lobster and an olive garden together and they give you both menus when you sit down? Oh, my God. There's a few of those out there. I just came in my pants yeah. again. Olive garden and a red lobster. I mean, that is just... What did you What did you die for a little bit and, and then, then come back? Did they like <laughs> shock you and you came back to normal life? I like what, where that is. What happened? I was just at an Olive Garden Red Lobster hybrid restaurant. We we should we should definitely find out because we're on the road so much yeah. where one of those is. Yeah, that's what uh, that's the that's the quality of food that can, we're looking can for. Can I just say the local beer here is great. Well, they are the uh, this is this is Brew City, my friend. This is Joel Berg's first time in Milwaukee, his first time in Wisconsin, his first time to the Midwest. So, your next comedian goes by the name of Andrew Martins, everyone. Andrew Martins. Here we go. Wow, right from the front row. Here we go. Hey. Hi, everyone. So, uh, you guys ever have that coworker at work who uh, just doesn't do shit? Uh, I have one at my work today, actually today, who came into work. They sat down, sent out an email that said, my throat is shot. I am not going to be on the phones today. We work in customer service, so that's the whole job. So immediately after she sends that email, she stands up and she walks around and talks to literally everyone in the office. She's laughing. She's having a great time. And honestly, I get pretty fucking sick of it pretty quick. So I stand up and I go, Susan, I swear to everything holy, if you don't get a goddamn groggy throat in about five seconds here, I'm gonna drown myself in this goddamn delicious pomegranate LaCroix in front of everyone in the office. She sits down, daggers at me. Ow. Go ahead. Well, uh, I think I have a meeting with HR when I get back to work, and they're going to ask me about my suicidal comments about the LaCroix. Okay. Andrew Martins. Fuck yeah. Look at you, Andrew. You seem like such a nice guy. Look at you. You're so wholesome. You're, 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 you're like a real happy guy. You seem excited. You're smiling. Your parents are still together, right? How did you know? How did I know? Because look at you. Look how happy yeah, you are. You're wearing penny loafers. Your penny loafers, your shirt's tucked into your pants. You're wearing a belt. You look like uh, nobody else here in Milwaukee. You're all put together properly. His parents are still together, though. You're being honest, right? Yeah, they're still together. How long have they been together? 30-some years or something crazy, oh right? God. I kind of wish I knew. I know it's above... 25. See, that's how nice of a guy he is. Man, yeah. I really wish I knew, Tony. You're, I really don't, though. I just uh, walk around happy and jolly all the time. Your parents are super rich. Your dad's very successful. Your mom's a stay-at-home mom. My dad's a tool and dime specialist, so he's kind of like the uh, light blue collar dream. Right, right. What does mom do? Uh, gym teacher. Gym teacher? Oh, oh wow. School. Look at that. Have you ever caught your mom with another woman? <laughs> Good question. Not to date, and it would be uh, no. fairly surprising. I would, uh, he's so nice. I would like to see what a name calling contest between Jeremiah and him would be like using yeah. no cuss words. No cuss words allowed. But be mean. But be mean with one another. I like this idea. You, you ready for this? Uh, let's have a, Jeremy? you guys ready to have a name calling competition you, with you, Jeremiah? You just caught. I'll, all right, I'll do it. 
I'll, I'll do it instead of Jeremiah. Let's have a, let's have a name calling competition. Uh, no cuss words allowed. You, you're a nice guy. Let's see if you, uh, let's see if you have a mean side to you. All right, you ready? You look like a uh, gay fat weatherman. Your I turn. find your jean jacket disrespectful. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's do this again. Uh, let's go another round. You want to go another round, Andrew? Let's do it. Okay, uh, your game. Was, uh, it was it hard for your mom to fail her son in gym class? <laughs> All right, get him. Bad news bears, she failed me in study hall. No, no, get him back. It's an insult. <laughs> he already <laughs> fucked it up. He's such a nice guy. You're lucky it was raining today, or I'd be very confused by your rain jacket. <laughs> Those are fighting words where I come from. Oh my god. This is the greatest thing ever. This is brilliant. Joel, you're a genius. This is your comedic voice. You're Andrew the nice roaster. This is you. You fucking, you reverse roast. You're like a microwave. You cook from the inside out. It's incredible. Man, I, I'll tell you, if it wasn't raining today, I wouldn't know what to think of that outfit. You're, you're lucky it rained today. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be confused. By your, ah! You're such a big, sweet guy. Look at you, Andrew. What, what, uh, this is incredible. I'm going to do one more. Do one more. Do one more. Yeah, okay. Uh, Andrew, here you go. Uh, you look like the kind of guy that's watched every episode of Bosch on Amazon. <laughs> I've been standing here this whole time wondering if you drew your mustache on with a pencil or a permanent marker. Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. That was actually a pretty good one. And, it, the, and the answer's pencil. It looks like the hardest drug he's ever done is snorting cheese curds. <laughs> you want to get him back? Get him. Get him back, Andrew. Cheese whiz, actually. Whoa! How about, one, how about one on this audience? What do you think about this audience? Be mean to this audience. Come on, look at them out there. What do you got? What do you got? Just the whole audience. You guys ever uh, watched a Packer game and looked at the audience? Yeah. Fucking horrible. And that's what you guys look like. <laughs> There's too many people. <laughs> You're adorable. Andrew, uh, what type of office do you work in? <laughs> I work at uh, Direct Supply, so it's like... Uh, company that services senior living and I'm like a, a dispatcher so I send we need two ramps places. over in the retirement home yeah interesting wow someone just booed you working at a place that helps senior citizens that's so nice how uh, dare you my god so Andrew tell us uh, tell us something hard about you you seem like a nice guy tell us something that would surprise us about you is that a little tattoo I see sticking out of that sleeve whoa oh. what is that what is that a tattoo of the work you have to do tomorrow what is that uh, they it. call Khaleesi the mother of dragons, but I call myself the father of dragons. Show that. Wow. The father of dragons. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is incredible. Fucking lame of <laughs> and, thrones. And by the way, you are a stepfather of dragons. No one would claim you as their actual father. <laughs> I, gotta, I didn't walk out of the fire, but I sure raised him good. <laughs> what kind of car do you drive? Uh, you know An what? honest I, car, whatever yeah, it is. A 1996 Buick LeSabre. Wow. Pimp. Wow. God damn, Buick LeSabre. You got that? That's a hand-me-down from your parents? Uh, my grandmother, Vivian. Booyah, you're damn right. Wait, what is did this you William say? Montgomery's brother? <laughs> what did you say your grandmother's name was? It was Vivian. It was. Hey, what's the what's the weirdest thing you ever Googled on a porn site? Like, what's the weirdest search thing you've ever boobs? <laughs> Delicious breasts. Vagina. <laughs> Women's emotional state. <laughs> no, but for real, you get you watch girls poop or something? Yeah, kinkiest thing you've ever uh, gotten into for a little bit. Thing. Kinkiest thing you ever looked Be up honest. twice. Old lady, Come on, porn. be honest. I did here. one time look up Devil's Threesomes, which I feel like is fairly kinky, an old pig roaster. Devil's Threesomes? Are you talking about the old, uh, are you talking about Judge Kavanaugh shit? You found out about, like, 
I didn't know about it until I saw him on the grandstand. Wow, that is, again, this what? all plays right into your thing. <laughs> that is in fucking incredible. Well, thank goodness for the passing of Supreme Court nominee Judge Kavanaugh. I found out what a <laughs> devil's triangle is. That's incredible. My what, goodness. What is that for those of us who have uh, it was a, It was a thing that was signed in Judge Kavanaugh's yearbook when they went back and oh, looked yeah. at everything the poor fucking guy's ever done before in his entire life. And, uh, and it was, uh, you know, it's a devil's triangle. He said that it was a drinking game, which is hilarious because he had to so that he could be a fucking Supreme Court justice. But he really just, uh, him and his buddy fucked a chick at the same time. It's a devil's triangle when you're fucking a chick one end and the other end and then you high five and then it's a triangle. And Hail oh. Satan. Did you say that's gross, lady? Esca- what? Yes, very good. We all know. Very good. Thank you, lady. Thanks for helping us so much. Yes, they are Eskimo brothers. But it's a little bit more because it's at the same time. It's, a it's, like, a, it's Eskimo like Eskimo brothers. Siamese twins in a weird way, basically. <laughs> Have you ever seen old lady porn? That, now, that's pretty fucking crazy. Like, there's, there's one where it's like the lady's 100 years old and she doesn't even know she's there. Check it out. It's fucking awesome. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh- Red Go Man. watch that. I, <laughs> little I, segue there from I, Red Van. I like how Red Van went into that. He said, you ever seen the one where, like, <laughs> it was an episode of Golden Girls that we've all seen? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you for being a slut. All right. Andrew, anything else we'd be surprised to know about you? Oh, Naughtiest thing about you. Come on, Andrew. Naughty think hard. Boy. Think deep. What's the meanest thing you've ever done? The baddest ass thing you ever fucking... Ride a motorcycle into a goddamn uh, fucking like a soup kitchen to feed the needy or something like that. I one time uh, rode my bike into a truck, which is uh, pretty exciting. Yeah, you rode your bicycle into a truck, which like, is a felony no in Wisconsin. <laughs> what was that last thing you said, Andrew? The training wheels were off. The what? Training, it's training, a, training wheels. Training wheels. So wow. you you went you crashed into the back of a truck. And that's the toughest thing you've ever done in your life. That's the most badass thing you've ever done, or like the naughtiest thing, like something like that. We'd be surprised to think that such a nice guy did. You never like stole anything from anybody, or took something, or fucking like uh, kicked a baby. Hand job at like massage that. parlor. You ever ridden a bike into a truck? Oh my God! All yeah. right, I believe you now, Andrew. Well, you did it here tonight. This was your first time doing stand-up, right? I love it, man. You came up here, you did it, you handled everything, you know who you are. I'd work on that nice roasting, man. That could be your fucking calling. There you go. Andrew Martins, one of the nicest guys we've ever had on this show. He's on Twitter at amartins1991. Wow, look at that. People already shaking his shaking hands. Shaking his hands. Excited for him. It's very cool. You guys having fun out there? Ooh. Wow. This is exciting. Put your hands together for your butt, Ultra Lord. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, he's coming from the back, it looks like. Come on, everybody. It's your butt, Ultra Lord. He's taking is his this time. Him? Here we go. Here comes the butt. One more time for your butt, Ultra Lord. Here we are. So, uh, how's it going, guys? Um, excuse me, I'm uh, addicted to nicotine, so I'm going to hit this thing right here. To the podcast listeners, that's called a jewel. I don't know if Tony knows if he, uh, what that is, because I don't know if he's in my uh, age range. Uh, I would like to talk about a trash or not trash moment in my life. Is it trash to finger a girl if she's on her period? I mean, eventually, like, if there's a girl in your bed who's on her period, you must be wasted. She must be wasted. So eventually, you just put Game of Thrones on because there's nothing else to watch. You get too drunk to care. You just put your, uh, your hand down there and uh, you wake up with some blood under your nails. 
Wow, your butt. My goodness. What happened? Damn, I should have ended it there. I fucked up. What happened, your butt? What's going on here? What happened? What war do you think you went wrong? I don't know. I'm, I'm, that confusing ass jewel joke? I get wait. Not, I didn't want it to go as it did. So what I did you, I don't understand. What did you mean by the jewel joke? Was the I joke was supposed to, to be say that you're that old. I'm older, right? I, I have a jewel right here, you fucking piece of shit. You understand me? Sure, I'm 35, but I'm still one of the top young rising comedians in the world. All right, and I'm gonna be young until I'm 96 years fucking old. Young. Years this guy's young, young also. Yes. That's his last name. <laughs> you are Asian. What kind of Asian are you? Over. I'm, uh, I'm Filipino. Aww, You're Filipino. Very good. Oh, and, that's uh, what we call on the sea, sushi. Wow. And you were... Uh, stop hitting your jewel. Relax, dude. You're fucking... I'm, I'm, I'm not fucking how old are you? I'm, I'm, I'm 21. Tw- are you? Wow. What the fuck? How old are you? I got a pee. Turning 22 next month. You're what, tw- turning 22 next month. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what do you what are you doing with your life? What 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 does a day look like in the life of? So um, it's summertime. Uh huh. So I just like finished my fourth year of college. Uh huh. But I didn't graduate, so that sucks. Why didn't you graduate? Cause uh, I failed uh, principles of marketing. You. F- Talk louder into the microphone. Oh, my bad. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? A, your dad's I in the failed, room? You can admit what class you failed. I failed principles of marketing. Principles of marketing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I hear people talk and I understand racism. Yeah. Uh, I know. I, I am not a graduate from a college. I am fair. I'll bring you marketing. Fuck yeah. yeah. All right. Let's what? keep talking to Ali Wong's little brother here. This is exciting. So, uh, yeah, but, am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Yeah. Are both of your parents Filipino? They are. Uh Uh-huh. And, uh, so what's your plan now that you failed out of college? You have a job? Uh, so yeah, I work for, uh, the Brewers. I don't know if you know what that is. Are you talking about the baseball team or the people that make beer? No, the baseball team. Okay. Why wouldn't he know what that is? Like, I don't know. You make zero sense. Like, know. he wouldn't smoke oh, because he's happening? 10 years older than you or something? Like, yeah. what the fuck? My, my, uh, and of course I knew the Brewers are. My team is the Cleveland Indians. We're all in the American League together. Like, I mean, are they, aren't we, they called the Braves? What? Aren't they called the Braves? Shut no. the fuck uh, up. Uh, you know, that's yeah, but stop trying to make right jokes, there. please. It's not going good for you I'm at sorry. all. I promise you. You're, you're whatever you think. I don't know if you have a bunch of little fucking Asian girls that laugh at your jokes all day, but it's not cutting it here, all right? So, yeah, but tell us something about your real life. What's it like being 22 in Milwaukee as a Filipino boy? Um, so, I work for, also for my uncle. Uh-huh. And he so happens to run like a home care business. Yeah. What? what so what is it? What do you do so exactly? So I, I picked up some shifts because I'm not doing anything. Uh huh. So uh, so basically, I go to this old guy's house in uh-huh. Glendale. Uh huh. And he's like this cute old Chinese guy. Uh huh. And he Wait, just needs. Why like, is that a description? I, I don't know. Just like. Are you? I've are never heard a, a grown man say, you know, I just watch over this cute old. He's. Lady. Definitely not a grown man. Eventually, old people get to an age like where they look cute. Yeah, I don't know, that's nice. Me, but a cute little old Chinese <laughs> so, uh, man. You so need to come out to see so it. Yeah, I will make a just, man out of you. <laughs> You're so emotional. He just needs help with like walking around and like peeing. Yeah, but what the fuck are you talking about right now? What the fuck Wait, are you talking about? I'm getting about? there. Listen so, to me. Listen to me. So yeah, but, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. It. So were you getting somewhere with I was, this? Whole I was going to okay, get to it. Okay, go ahead. Get to it. So he goes. I have to help him in the bathroom. So I have to like pull his dick out. Really? And put a, like a urinal to his dick. Oh wow! And, like, and he does that like very frequently because he's old. Uh huh. Or because he so likes. It sucks. You. Fucking sucks. I hate it. Fucking wow. hate it. We show me your lip. Does it say cum dumpster on it? I... Hey. Ultra Lord. Why did you sign up as the Abut Ultra Lord? Because uh, I just like put my last name down. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Fuck it, I'll get, I'll get blacklisted." Uh huh. And then I was like, "No way, I'll get called on." And I put my Instagram Instagram name down. Uh huh. You're wearing a tailor-made is. hat. Do you play golf? Yeah. Is that your favorite sport? It is. is U.S. That... Opens tomorrow. What? 
The U.S. Opens tomorrow. The U.S. Opens tomorrow. You're very excited about that, huh? I probably won't watch it, but... Oh, okay. I don't know what the fuck to do with you, dude. You're about as fucking... You're like a, you're like a fucking... I don't know what the fuck you are. You, somehow you're a Filipino, yet you have more brain damage than Manny Pacquiao. It's incredible. How, how old are you again? He's 22. 22. Uh, 21 tw- 22 and a half. next month, basically, is what he said. <sighs> yeah, but anything exciting about your life? You ever uh, you ever have sex before? I haven't. You haven't. I haven't. Do you no. still live? You still live with your parents? I, I just moved back with my mom, which uh-huh. is fun. Your parents are separated. They She's are. still not putting out. Sad. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. She really should. So you've never had uh, you've never had sex before with a girl? No. Nope. Uh, what about with you- a largemouth bass? Feels the same. Okie dokie. How about, uh, what's the farthest you've gotten with a girl? You ever kiss a girl before? Yeah, you ever tongue yeah, a sunfish? Yeah. Okay, okay. Sherman, Sherman. You ever finger a perch? Okay. All right. Go ahead. You ever put your balls in a carp? Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. So, uh, what's the farthest you've gotten with a girl? You ever hook uh, up with a gay fish, a rainbow fish? There we go. Hey, here we go. He's <laughs> I've, doing I've the thing. A, I've had someone suck my dick before. Really? Uh, Who was it? What was, was it? what was his name? <laughs> Seriously. Was it a guy? Was it a boy? It was not a guy. His name was Come Too Soon. <laughs> Who was this girl? Where'd you meet this girl at? Uh, I don't know. I just knew her through school. Yeah, just school. Yeah. College. Know. Yeah, basically. Did you come? I did not. I, I told her my exact words was, I'm too drunk to come right now. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. First time. So might as well stop. Did you Jeez. still talk to her? <laughs> too drunk to I come know. is my Native American name. <laughs> Have you, did you ever try to do it again? Did you ever try to get her to, did you ever take her out or anything? Yeah, we, we had a thing. Talking to the fucking we, tip we, of the we microphone. Had, we had a thing, but... Uh, I was, was also the girl with the, the period and the fingering part, too. Ah. Uh, that was the, it was at the same time, same night? No, that was like, that was like a couple of months later. So you fingered her, but you never got your dick sucked again? No, I did. I did also. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> Still a virgin? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen with that? You plan on, uh, you plan on uh, doing something crazy? You think about visiting one of your aunt's uh, massage parlors? and? Uh, what are you doing to the mic? He's jerking off the mic yeah. right now yeah, uh, for the audio, audio I, listeners. I feel like this has been a long time. I don't know. I'm just, yeah. I'm just we, l- we love you long time, dude. Yeah. That's what's fucking happening right now. Uh, Fingering a girl on a period. Was she, is, was she also Asian? Yes. Yeah? Was she Filipino as well, or did you disgrace your father's name? I did not disgrace. She was Filipino. Anybody, yeah. Are you? Do you find yourself only attracted to Filipino girls? No, not at all. No. What's your favorite type of chick? Blonde, white uh, girl, blue uh, eyes. I would love a light skin girl with green eyes. Wow. wow. Racist. Look at that. I saw one of those girls at work the other day. One of those girls. Beautiful. I kept walking up and down. I believe the video game is called Sims. <laughs> Where were you walking down? Where you said you kept walking up and down, seeing that girl. Where was this at? Where were you walking at? I was, I was working at for the Brewers. Okay. I was in, I, I was in the. What do you like, do for the Brewers, dude? Wait, wait staff. Wait staff. Does so that mean to, you go out and you sell beer in the stands, or? Basically, I get to charge people for, for like concession foods. So you go up and down, walking stuff around in the stands. No, so I the answer a, is yes, or is it basically you yes. charge people for stuff? Oh, well, I, I walk around with a tablet and order the food, and someone. Have you ever suffered serious around. fucking head trauma before in your life? Okay. Were you ever out on the golf course and a ball hit you in your fucking skull, right where you, right where the back of your fucking head meets the base of your goddamn neck? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm kind of really high right now. And Are you I'm really boo- high I'm on what up. nicotine, you up. fucking pussy? Nicotine. Uh, I, I have a, something called a dab pen. I don't know if yeah, you know what that I is. I love it. Yeah, yes, we yeah all, we're from we, California, you idiot. Yes, we know what all this shit is, you yeah, but you don't know anything that we don't fucking know already. You understand? His you life know? movie would, will be called Crouching Tiger Hidden Brain. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> all right, well, you but Because uh, he's Asian, he plays golf, he and he is n- retarded. There he goes. There goes the butt, everybody. Right back to uh, 
Right back to being a weirdo. Back to Weirdoville, that guy. That was weird. That was weird. Really the only way to describe it. Every answer was like, well, basically, yeah, I mean, let me tell you, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Burnhan Al Waisi. Burhan Al Waisi. Here he comes. I wish you said you would step back on that ledge, my friend. One more time for Burhan, everyone. So my name is actually Burhan Al Waisi. Huh? It's kind of a weird name. It's actually from the Middle East. I know you guys wouldn't be able to tell by the way I look. I'm kind of like an undercover Arab. Um, I'm like a whitey in the street, Muslim in the book, burqa sheets. Um, something about me is uh, I do jujitsu. If you guys don't know what that is, it's kind of like wrestling with a little bit more choking, which is a good thing because I got a fetish. Uh, and it, it makes winning my spars really easy because nobody wants to keep choking the guy that's getting a boner. <laughs> Truthfully though, um, I guess it really depends on which class I go to. Uh, I usually get smashed. Unless, unless I go to the morning classes. If I go to the morning classes, those kids don't know what they're gonna get into. I don't wanna brag, but little Jessica did not see that flying arm bar coming. Um, I don't know, I guess. Uh, is, it, is, it a, is this a true fact that like Pompeii, they were the first people to play the floor as lava? Heck yeah, look at you. Here he is, Burhan Al Waisi. Al Waisi. Al Waisi. Waisi. Sure. Waisi. 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 What type of a Middle Eastern are you? My dad's from Iraq. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I rock. I, I, I rock. <laughs> wow. Well, you rocked it up there tonight, oh, I tried. Uh, Thank Burhan. You. Wow. So, how about your mom? Where Where is she from? Uh. I think Wisconsin. I'm really? Sure. Yeah. So your mom just when did when did uh, when did she start hooking up with this fucking guy? Um. So she went to college in Texas. Uh huh. And uh, another pla a place that literally teaches you not to fuck Middle <laughs> Eastern men. <laughs> True. Uh, funny thing is, uh, she got hooked up with my dad from like her boyfriend knew my dad, so he got a visa and came here. Um, wow, they just and, pass her around, huh? Uh, basically, uh, it's uh, it took my dad like four or five times before she said yes to marrying him. Wow. Yeah. Please, please, for the love of God, marry me. <laughs> I need please, a green I, card. I need green card and buy these airline tickets for me, please, under your name. <laughs> uh, that's cool. What does uh, what your dad do? Uh, he's a manager at U-Haul. Manager at U-Haul, yeah. so a place that has giant storage trucks. Yes. He has infiltrated our country, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so he could possibly it, put things it, in it, these trucks. An insider is what they call it, right? Undercover. Wow. All right. And you are you are extremely white. Yes. Uh, do you, do they stop you at airports? Have you traveled before? No. I, I yeah, we travel. Um, my family and I. But mm -hmm. my brother does. He's darker skinned than me. Mm -hmm. Why do you think your brother's darker skinned? Did your dad uh, pass your mom around, <laughs> like her boyfriend <laughs> no. originally did? No. 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 Just no. regular old, just Iraqi shit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the sand falls a little bit harder from the tree. <laughs> uh. All right. So, uh, how old what? are you? How old? Yep. 22. 22 years old. Look at the difference between this 22-year-old wow. and that last piece of shit. <laughs> a real goddamn Iraqi American. I never thought I'd say this, but I like the Iraqi a lot more than the last guy. Um, heck yeah. Well, that's exciting. So, wow. I mean, when was your mom going to... Texas for school, like what ballpark, what age? Definitely in the Bush presidency, right? So like the Gulf before War had that. to at least have started. I think before that. I mean, the, My mom there, there was a Bush 60. before this last Bush. Oh, your mom's 60. Yeah. Wow. I'm the last of the three childs. Oh, okay. Children. But she knew it was wrong what she was doing, and that's yeah, the yeah, point yeah, totally. that I want to get to. Hell yeah. So uh, that's fucking cool. What do you do? Uh, I work as like a lab technician for uh, dentistry, like not, nice. not actually at a dentist, like the dentists send us fucked up teeth and then we make like the prosthetics for them. Oh, oh. okay. That's cool. That's a big, uh, that's a, clearly a booming business here in Wisconsin. Absolutely. It's helping people whose teeth are falling out of their skull. Uh, that's fun. You're 22. Have you lost your virginity yet? Yes. Heck yeah. yeah. You, you know how to boy. fill up a U-Haul. <laughs> Fuck yeah. 
Uh, who was this girl? Like, uh, my friend's friend? I don't yeah, know. friend's Names. friend. No, I don't want her name. I'm just saying, like, where'd you meet her at? How'd it go down? Uh, Whitewater. Uh, sh- I made friends with uh, these neighbors, and, like, she brought her friend over from Dickieville, which oh. is, like, right next to Idaho. Or, Iowa, 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 not Idaho. Heck yeah. So. Uh, Did she go down on you like Tower 7? <laughs> yes. Did she go down on you like Tower 7? Did yeah, she? She, she did. Cool. I'm yeah. just impressed that Red Band has that historical reference underneath yes. it. <laughs> well, that's fun. Um, and uh, you, uh, you've you done that a couple times or just once? Oh, yeah, a couple times. Watch. Yeah, a couple times. Hell yeah, you get around. You know what the hell's going on. Um, how about now? You have a girlfriend? Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. That's an interesting answer. Normally, yeah. it's unfortunately, unfortunately yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's that's true. I don't want a relationship. I'm trying to grind out my early years, and then later on, maybe uh-huh. settle down. Uh huh. What do you do for fun? What does a what does a 22 year old Iraqi do for um, fun? What do you do? Fly paper airplanes into guns. buildings. I I gone skydiving a few times. Um, uh huh. Well, that would come in handy. Yeah. <laughs> Skydiving, shooting guns. Very good. Are you sure this isn't ISIS training that we're talking about right now? Uh, video games too. CSGO, Counter-Strike, yeah. Headshot. Yeah, there you right. go. So you know how Practice to operate a drone yeah. as well? Very good. Yeah, yeah, all right. right. We're Clear. finding out all this. Can someone call Homeland Security, please? <laughs> this is exciting. What's the most Iraqi thing about you, do you think? Uh, what stands out to you? My name or the food I eat. Yeah. What's your favorite type of Iraqi food? Bamya. Bamya, you, it's like you, you did that for most of your <laughs> set tonight, so that's fitting. You are what you eat. I guess. How about that? What's the whitest thing about you? Your white side. What do you think? Something I don't know. Like, wow. Let me see. Um, the way you probably dress. Probably the way I sound. Yeah, the way you sound's a good yeah. one. Yep. Hey, me too, man. Annoying and mm-hmm. shitty. What is your shirt? You're wearing some kind of... Uh, Funhouse. Uh, yeah, it's what? a YouTube channel. Rooster Teeth. Funhouse. I love it. There you go. A little shout out to that. Wow. All right. All right. Relax. Okay. Fucking model runway. Jesus Christ. Fucking what a slob. What are you doing? What's happening right now? Oh, God. He's doing his little native dance. He's belly dancing. Okay. Very good. No, you settle down. (laughs) Any any other uh, (laughs) hobbies or anything? You good at anything? Fucking... Um. Uh, jiu-jitsu, I try that. Jiu-jitsu, you really? Yeah. You, uh, what belt are we at? Uh, uh, you're Iraqi, white. so it one might be... One-stripe white belt. Oh, okay. Oh, would you like to try to choke uh, Joelberg out? Would you like to do that? Uh, I don't know. What? Wow. Oh, shit. These guys are fucking... Uh, something's going down here. Wow, what's happening? I think they're fighting. <laughs> Wow. Oh, my God. This is very... All right. (laughs) Wow. This is exciting. Wow. Oh. Oh, Joelberg's got him in a choke here. Joe's got Wow. All right. He's going to... I think he's going to... There's a tap. He tapped. tapped. He tapped. 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 Wow. Look at that. That was one of the... And Joelberg, to be honest... Joelberg's wearing a gi. I mean, that's pretty much a gi, a rubber gi. That's the gayest thing Milwaukee's seen since they closed Lacoste. Yeah. There's a little reference there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Fuck yeah. Kind of look like our friend Ari Manis, doesn't he? Yeah, Yeah. he does. Do uh, do Do you dislike black people? No. No, you like them. Do you have any black friends? Yeah. Is that true? Do you have any black friends contacts? Yeah, I actually have in photos of them in my pocket. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like <laughs> National <laughs> Geographic. You're like, no, 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 it's cool. I have a black friend. See? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a black friend's contact in your phone and for real? Yeah. What's his name? Uh, which one? Is it in the ends? <laughs> uh, there's Deshaun. There's Antonio. Antonio. Yeah. Oh, That's about it. That's it. All right. I'll allow it. I believe you. All right. Well, uh, Burhan Al Waisi, did you have fun here tonight? Is this your first time doing trying stand up comedy? No, I've done it about a dozen times. About a dozen times. Yeah. Heck yeah! Is it something that you think you want to do forever? Or no, I mean, I'll something do it that as you want to something yeah. that you want to get better at. Yeah, absolutely. I want to improve myself always. There you and go. Everything. I like your attitude. There he goes, Burhan Al Waisi. Everybody, 
There he goes. There's a jujitsu hug. They fell in love up here tonight. Very exciting. Heck yeah, we're running out of time. What do you guys, should we go to the bucket just one more time, huh? I guess so. Why not? I feel bad because I couldn't feel the tap on this thick rubber coat. Yeah. Yeah, well. Should have let go a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a real, uh, real fisherman up here. <laughs> okay. You guys having fun? I mean, it's like extreme highs and lows. You guys go from loud to quiet real yeah. quick. Put your hands together for your final comedian of the night. Paul One Gluick. One One Gluick. Here he one comes. Like. Paul One Gluick. Here he comes. Come on, one more time, good and loud for Paul, everybody. How's it going, guys? I, uh, there was two guys behind me arguing a line earlier. They were arguing about the mass of the sun. Thought that's fucking gross. Two guys just publicly mass debating. I, uh, I work in customer service. It's, it sucks, I hate people. But like, that customer service switch is always on. Like, I'm always just too nice. Like, I've been accused of being Canadian. Like, I've developed this tick where people will run into me, and I'll just go, oops, sorry. <laughs> I've never been to Canada, I don't know where it came from. It's like they get bumped into by a confused ghost. I, uh... I want to get a vasectomy. Yeah, I went to Google and I was like, where do I get A? And it just auto-completed vasectomy. <laughs> Fuck you, Google. Like, there's this list of requirements you need to meet to get a vasectomy. Like, you can't be addicted to drugs. You need to be stable mind. I don't get why we don't have those requirements to have kids. <laughs> like, All right, Paul. Welcome, welcome. This is your first time doing stand-up comedy, no. correct? No. no. Well, is that, that bad? No. How long have you been doing it? <laughs> About a year. About a year. All here yeah. in Milwaukee? No, I'm from Chicago. Oh, wow. South of Chicago. Heck yeah. You came up here just for this? Yeah. Oh, very yeah. cool. You're going to be there tomorrow night Absolutely. at Thalia Hall? Hell yeah. That's going to be a big one. Um, well, that's fun. You've been listening to this show a while? Oh, yeah. That's what got me into it. It's what got you into it. Was there a specific moment in Kill Tony history in which you're like, you know what? I can do this. You guys had the Iron Patriot on for that long. It was kind of, if he could do it, I could, I could get on stage. Who the <laughs> fuck is that guy? Uh, don't worry about <laughs> it. <Yeah. laughs> Who the fuck? He still thinks he's on the show. Oh, I love geez. it. Sorry. So, Welcome, welcome, Paul. Um, you've been doing it a year. Very fun. How do you make a living? I work at Trader Joe's. Hey, uh, look at that. Ring the bell. As what, Trader Joe himself? No, <laughs> I wish. Yeah? What do you do there? Just one of the just Hawaiian shirt-wearing no. floaters? I, I did that for about a year, but huh. I just I fill the dairy box most of the time. Heck yeah, the dairy box. Hell yeah. I know. Super fun. Right. Uh, how about for fun? What do you do yeah. when you're not working? You fill in? the dairy box? Yeah. Yep. Is this what they call having sex with a woman in Wisconsin? <laughs> <laughs> what, do you like, uh, what do you like to do uh, for hobby-wise? Uh, you seem like the kind of guy that has like three computers all lined up next to each other. You fucking roll around like that. It's only two. <laughs> really? Video game, yeah. yeah. Video games, I bowl. Wow. Yeah, yeah you bowl. Uh, what's the best game you've ever bowled? Uh, two, 298. 298? Oh, no, wow. you did not. Oh, my God. It's no, very impressive. Didn't. Very impressive when you someone liar. bowls their weight. And oh, uh, it's incredible that you were able <laughs> to do I was going to guess ball. cereal. <laughs> did you really bowl a 298? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, fucked up the last ball. Yeah, uh, really? The impressive. very last one. Frame 10? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. It's pretty crazy. Man. Do you remember, Wait like, what happened? Like, oh, you were, it, it were you thinking about something or, like, what happened? No, I just fucked up. I mean, right. it's still, this was, like, eight years ago, and it still haunts me. Uh-huh. So wait, you on frame ten, you 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 got a you didn't get a strike because right. isn't too like to get three hundred you have to have like three strikes in a row. Yeah, it's twelve strikes in a row, right. so the twelfth one. Wow. Man, I had a chance to kill the Loch Ness monster one time. Yeah, what happened? I choked. 
Wow. It winked at me, blew me a kiss, and I never saw her again. My goodness. And I that don't... haunts me to this day. What, by, what, what part of the seven seas were you at when that happened? Seven. Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario. Wow, very close to here. That's incredible. Uh, Paul, so um, you see, so you're a pretty. You're, you're, you could admit that uh, you're a pretty uh, sort of like nerdy guy. A lot of computers. Oh, yeah. Bowling is your go-to. Anything yeah. else? Anything uh, crazy about you that we'd be surprised mm, to know? Probably not. You ever almost no. die before? Uh, no. You ever almost? Uh, you ever almost? Uh, you ever saved someone's life? No. Sometimes I hear her call in the middle of the night. <laughs> the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> That's the noise that she makes? Was she, uh, was she a baby owl? I don't know. <laughs> it may have been. All right. Paul, is there anything that scares you? What are you afraid of? Uh, public speaking, probably. Public speaking. Wow, yeah. so you can get yeah. into the comedy. You can see the sweat. I'm terrified. Well, I, you just look like the kind of guy that sweats all the time. Also yeah. true. Yep. <laughs> You're a pretty hefty guy. Yep. What's your favorite food? Probably pizza. Yeah, you're a Chicago yeah. guy. That makes sense. What's your spot in Chicago for pizza? Ooh, no. Uh, I don't know. That, the, whoever that first lady was sounded fat. I believe her. She yelled out Giordano's and he said Lou Malnati's. Lou Malnati's. That, 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 tends to be my, uh, that tends to be my go-to. I think it's the first one someone ever showed me and I just sort of stick with it. Uh, Wow. You live in the south side of Chicago, you said? Well, like the suburbs, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. What, what, what's the name of the suburb that you live in? Uh, Plainfield. Plainfield. Yeah, that yeah. sounds, that sounds <laughs> like it's not the south side of Chicago. No, no. Yeah. That sounds like a true suburb. Is that a pretty small uh, city? Is it close? No, it's, it's pretty big. Big farming community. Right. And then people bought a bunch of houses. Right. How old are you? 30. 30. Yeah. Uh, and why Plainfield? How'd you end up there? Uh, that's where my parents live. Oh, you still live with your parents? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. You in the basement? <laughs> yep. You are in the basement? Yep. Guilty. Fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, parents are still together. Yep. What does your dad do? He works at a power plant. Wow. A real man. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that's incredible. How about mom? Uh, stay at home. Stay at home. Just are like, you a just... Simpson? <laughs> yeah. Homie. <laughs> That is, that is incredible. Heck yeah. It's true, he is. He's Blart Simpson, combination of uh, Bart Simpson and Paul Blart. Ball cop. Paul, he's fat too. go in the basement. Wow. So your mom's a stay-at-home, just yep. like you at age 30, still yep. there. <laughs> yeah. Fucking awesome. Uh, you ever get into an argument with your dad? I mean, about... What? Anything? Ooh, that's Ooh. a yes. Not lately. I mean, we've argued about bowling. Does, did that's he ever bowling? <laughs> does he bowl too? Yeah. You yeah. go bowling with your dad. Yeah. Every Was week. he there when you bowled at two ninety eight? Yep. And he's like, wow. you know what? This is a, this is just the yep. story of your fucking life, Paul. Uh, is that <laughs> is that better than he has ever bowled though? Probably. No, he's no? had like he's had three hundred seven or eight. Yeah. Oh, wow. Three hundred games. My, my sister had one in practice, and she still holds that over my head. Wow! I'm Damn, that's crazy. She's taller than you. No. Oh. No. That's fun, a joke fun, about her fun fact about bowling balls: I had a really nice bowling ball that a professional bowler gave me, and had you know said my name on it, and I left it in my car, and it blew up because there's little water. Uh, uh, particles in a bowling ball and in, in heat it expands so it's like a bomb why don't you fuck <laughs> off cunt <laughs> you forget this is also a podcast oh my goodness wow Paul S sometimes I hear the Loch Ness monster yell in the middle of the night boring <laughs> well Paul I mean I'll tell you this um, uh, you've been doing it a year. I, I don't know. I don't know if you picked the right jokes for tonight. <laughs> I don't know if uh, your. Fr I don't know if anybody believed that on, in the line for Kill Tony before that two people were debating about the mass of the sun. I don't that's think that that's <laughs> believable. No way, dude! It's fucking hundreds of thousands of fucking. <laughs> like what the fuck are you talking about? You you look like divorced Bobby Hill. <laughs> Is your Bobby Hill reference? There we go. It's not even the song. Uh, but Paul, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, send you on your way. There he goes, Ooh, Paul. Nice. One glue. <laughs> I 
I mean, you know, I love you guys, and I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea, but I have to say that I think we need to go back to the bucket one more time. Now, that's not to say that I don't like this episode. It's quite the opposite. I think that, I think that we can go out on some type of bang. There's something in my gut. We're going to do a fast one here, and then we're going to get out of your way, and we're going to be over there taking pictures with the sign and posters. Let's see what happens here. This is an exciting name. We, we started with the ladies. We're going to end with a lady. Put your hands together for Mary Bayerl. Bayerl. Mary. There she is. The Bucket of Destiny has called your name. You will be the final comedian of the night live in the first ever Milwaukee Kill Tony. Make some noise for Mary, everybody. What up, Milwaukee? Uh, this is really exciting. I'm here with my friend Megan. She's out there. Uh, I appreciate no one sitting next to us just waiting for our boyfriends to show up. And I mean, they're not here, so it's just us. But um, my friend Megan is pregnant, which is super exciting. Um, she's my first friend to really be ready to have a baby, I guess, because that takes time. Um, but so we've been talking about, you know, uh, what are kids going to look like? Like, is it going to be brown hair, you know, curly hair, whatever. Um, <laughs> and, uh, like, is it going to be good at sports? Is it going to be, like, a nerd? <laughs> um, and really the, the best thing that I've decided about her future child is that it's going to be the person who will buy my children alcohol when they're underage. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and... That's all I had. <laughs> wow, look at you. That's adorable. I mean, not a single fucking joke in there. We really did end the way we started with wow. someone that clearly had no idea that they were going to get pulled out of the bucket. What happened here, Mary? First time doing stand-up, right? Yes. How about a hand for that? Come on. I mean, I don't know what happened, but wh what happened here tonight? So, well, um, I was supposed to come here with my boyfriend, mm -hmm. and he decided to watch the blues. Wow. <laughs> wow. Whatever, he's incredible. at the New Kids on the Block concert. He you is, know he is. He is in St. Louis. Uh-huh. He's in St. Louis. Yes. So what, what, uh, what, when you say he was going to come here with you, when did he make the decision to go to St. Louis? Yesterday. And he just left. Yes. Y you know that he's cheating on you right now, correct? No, I'm just kidding. So what, ha what made you sign up? You a fan of the show? Yeah, he, um, so yeah, I've listened to the show a little bit. Mm -hmm. I definitely didn't expect to get called, but I did kind of prepare, which just says I suck at preparing. So, you know, um, my friends say I'm funny, which doesn't mean much of anything. And Your friend what? My friends say I'm funny. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What do you do for work? I work at a nonprofit, like a youth development. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nonprofit. Uh-huh. And uh, how this girl's good. This girl's how, how good. How pregnant is your friend that? Uh, how pregnant is your friend that you came here with? Like halfway there. -ish. Halfway there. Okay. And uh, how long have you been with this boyfriend? Five years. Five years. You guys still having sex? Everything healthy in the relationship? Thumbs up. Thumbs up his butt. What are we talking <laughs> about? Kinkier than ever. Um, we are not pregnant, so that's great news for us, oh. I think. What and would happen if you got pregnant? Would you have an abortion or uh, have the baby? Hey, come on. We're getting towards the end of the episode. I have to take chances here. Yes. Don't groan at me. What, what is this, Alabama? What the fuck is happening right now? Yeah, would, would you, you have the baby? It? You seem like you don't want to have a baby. I don't. Right. Are you on birth control? Yes. You are. So... Uh -huh. This morning, my... Well, it's not funny. But no, go ahead. My birth control pill fell on the floor, and I couldn't find it, so... Uh-oh. Oh, hell yeah. Whoopsie, baby. Wow. That's One's not going to do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you and your boyfriend have ever done sexually? It's true. You have five years... Say it slow and in French. <laughs> There must be something. You seem like a. You seem like a. You seem like such a, a good person. We're excited to know like uh, anything crazy. You, get, um, you and your boyfriend ever have sex in a porta potty? No, nothing like that. Did you that. get your sweater from the movie Grease? <laughs> did you? Did you get the sweater from the movie Grease? 
Tell us something about you that we'd find interesting, something that you think makes you different than all these other people here. I loaned someone money once, for, and for collateral, they gave me a gun. What? Wow. Sick. That's, That's crazy. You bought a gun. You know pew, that? Pew, 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 pew. You bought a gun. Yeah, that's true. How? Uh, what kind of gun was it? Do you remember? A twenty-two. Yeah. What? Do you still have it? Did you? Did, did they ever get yes. you the one that? You still have the gun? Yes. Do you know if it's like stolen or like? Are you allowed to have a gun? Like, How much did you let them borrow? Like two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, and you're like, okay, but I need something that uh, to know you're gonna pay me back, and they're like, here you go, here's this gun. And you're like, okay, I'll keep the, where do you keep the gun? In a purse in my closet. Wow, <laughs> heck yeah. Interesting. Can we not gloss over the fact I guess exactly what type of gun it was? I mean, it's a 20. I mean, there's not probably, that honestly, three options. You yeah, yeah. You yeah. 22, 22. Yeah, 99. it could have been any of the other three, you idiots. Wow. Jesus All right. Christ. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, uh, Mary, Shut anything else uh, that you think we'd be surprised to know about you? Yeah. I uh, have gotten, I've crashed my car three times. Three times. That's normal oh. for a female. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> this is in, an interesting one. Uh, now, you say that I, you didn't. I, um, okay. I, oh. one of my jobs uh-huh. when I was in college, uh-huh. I made toilet paper. Uh-huh. Go ahead. So, keep going. So with that, um, the worst part of it really was working with the older men who were there. And it's not that they were like sexual harassing or anything. They would just talk to you about the people who had died on the job during the break. Oh, boy. My God. That's incredible. Sure. uh, uh, Yeah. Oh, yes. Sherman. Yes. I've got a question. You seem like a very bubbly, nice person. What is the worst thing you've ever done to somebody? Good question. Worst thing you've ever done to some buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I... Whew, you motherfuckers out here are boring as fuck in Milwaukee, <laughs> you, I'll tell you. You shot somebody that owed you money? <laughs> With their own gun? Yeah. I let my parents down. I let everybody here down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you like anal? No. <laughs> Boo. Well, I mean, I don't know what to do here. What time do we start, 10 after? Uh, Go for it. Do one more. Do one more. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to send you on your way. There goes Mary Baira. Baira. I don't know, man. We've reached our maximum. What's the longest? We have no choice, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, that's the uh, that's the entire episode. Uh, that's a two-hour-long episode. Brian's saying that that's the longest episode in Kill Tony's history. One could fact-check that. But we did it here. We tried our best. Next time, maybe uh, here in Milwaukee, if you're just sort of thinking about signing up, just sort of maybe thinking about it, how about you don't fucking do it? How about you let uh, people that really, really want to do this sign up? After the show, we're going to be right over there at that table, make a single file line. How about one more hand for the great Jeremiah Watkins, everybody? We did it. A little bit of house lights, maybe, for this uh, video? Yeah, look at that. Jeremiah did it again. Julberg, Joel Jimenez, everybody. Live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Jeremiah's got the new Reagan and Watkins album. The new Jeremiah Wonders is out with Pete Holmes on uh, Jeremiah Wonders podcast. Jeremiah's stand up on social media. Jeremiah Watkins on YouTube. And you have some dates coming up, some new Reagan and Watkins dates. Why don't you tell the listeners about that? Yeah, look out for us uh, in San Diego on June 28th. And then uh, we'll be in Phoenix at Stand Up Live in July. And then I'll be headlining back in my hometown of Kansas City in December. There you go. How about one more hand for Joelberg? Joel Jimenez, everybody. His first time in Wisconsin. His first time in Milwaukee. Joelberg's at Mostly Sorry on all social media. Anything else you want to say, Joelberg? I love you guys. First time out here. I love you. Peace out. Thanks for coming. There you go. That was a lot of fun. We had fun here tonight. The tour continues. It goes on and on. Can't understand how we last so long. 
How about one more time for the great Brian Red Band, everybody? Milwaukee, we love you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. We'll see you over there after the show. We'll take pictures, posters, pins, all that good shit. See you guys. Bye, everybody. Good night. <laughs>